Okay, so welcome. I haven't seen you guys in a while. This is uh, Mono. So welcome to another video. Now I know I haven't been uploading lately or for a few months actually. That's because I've not really had anything to upload in a way. So I didn't want to do any sort of just random boring stuff. I wanted to do something that, uh, well, that I wanted to do. So welcome to another video. As you probably tell from the title, or if not the uh, picture in the thumbnail, we do indeed have another sort of fursuit part unboxing. Um, this one is of hooves. That's right, we got some more hooves this time. Now these were made by a friend of mine. I will leave um, their Twitter on the screen about now. Uh, do go and follow them. See what they're up to. Uh, they don't. I don't think they take commissions. I'm not sure if they do or if they don't. But I did <laughs> get these from them very generously. Uh, I'll leave it at that. But I thought I may as well do a video on it and show you the quality of these hooves. Should we say? Now these are feet hooves. I know it sounds weird, but they're not the hand hooves. They're the feet hooves. But we got our lovely box here. We're going to open it up. And I do apologise for any noise outside. Uh, I am in my front room slash living room and it is a main road outside. I don't have anywhere else to film in here. So you may hear cars and people walking by. So I do apologise for that. So let me just make sure I'm in focus still. Looks like it. Now I do hope the lighting's alright and the sound's alright and everything like that. We're going to get straight into it. So, obviously I have opened it first just to make sure there's nothing that shouldn't be in there. And it just makes it easier to open it on screen. But, there you go, we have a pair of hooves. I know you, I know you see my knee in there, but oh well. First off, let's just get these out of the box. That's just to keep the uh, shape during packaging. And there you go. We got some big hooves there. Now, these aren't just foam and all that. These are actually, I believe, actually built on wood. <laughs> so they're a little bit more weightier, but I actually like that. It makes them feel a whole lot more sturdier than just soft ones. And as you can see, they are slanted as well gives you that sort of degrade effect there if you can see that properly now first off the I do hope you can see this all right let me just uh, make sure I know it's really dark so it sort of absorbs the light a little bit uh, I do hope this is all right though but um, so you got a sort of plinth sole shoe in there I think it is you got some longer fur on the heel as such and you've got some really soft luxury fur on the front here. And when I say soft, I mean soft. It is proper good soft on both of them. Then you've got sort of like a... Uh, I'm not sure what that fabric's called, actually. Um, oh, I'll have to look it up at some point. I can't remember what that is actually called. I'm sure someone will be able to tell me. Then on the bottom, you've got a wooden hoof sh uh, hoof shoe. Hoof shoe? Hoof shoe. Horseshoe. Horseshoe. Now, this does make it a bit heavier because inside it's also uh, wooden as well, which the, the shoe sits on. It sort of creates sort of like a, I think it's like a triangle effect in there. So a lot of pressure is being put down over the entirety of the um, hoof itself, not just in one spot. So it's actually making it more comfortable to stand on and it's easier to balance than it will look. As you see, it is screwed in as well, just to prove that it is wood inside. It's not just a foam or anything like that. There is a little seam there, but that's really not too much of a matter because how many times you're going to look underneath it. If you've got it for a first or you're just using them, uh, whatever, you're not really going to see the seam. And let's be honest, it just sort of blends in. I don't see any problem with that at all. Now, this one's got a bit of fluff on it <laughs> simply because the... Um, I think the paint was a little bit wet still, but that's really of no big deal. That will all just come off. That's absolutely fine. 
but there you go. There are the two who's. They do need a little bit of a brush on a long fur, but uh, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure we're still in focus, sort of. <laughs> I haven't filmed for a long time, so I do hope this is all right for you guys. Just making sure it's all in there still. So yeah, actually, let's just. I'm just going to get a uh, scale and just see how much these actually weigh. Um, just give you an idea, because just looking at them, they don't look too heavy. They're not heavy, but they have got weight to them. So I'll go and get a scale, a pair of scale, or scale, whatever you want to call it, and I'll weigh them individually, and then I can tell you how much they actually weigh. So I shall be right back. So had them on the scale. We have 881 grams and 883 grams. So both of them are pretty much on, well, they're just two grams off apparently, so that's really, really good. It means that it's not gonna be a bit off-putting when you're actually walking in them. It will feel quite nice and even, so that's always brilliant. Now, I know that you're probably bored of just looking at them while I'm talking, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them on. I'm gonna do a little walking back and forth. Uh, a different angle and then I shall tell you well how they feel and you can see how they look okay so I am only wearing uh, jeans so you might not be able to really uh, get a sense of how it look with the fursuit simply because I don't have a horse fursuit or anything like that or anything to go with this. I'm just wearing jeans and black socks so I'm hoping it'll work. But as you can see in the corner already I am wearing them. Now they're not the easiest things to stand on to begin with because you do have a huge gap. Distinctively you want to go like that. But uh, you do get used to it. It is quite easy to get used to. And I think they look rather dashing, shall we say. Now I do hope you can hear me, it is a shotgun mic so it might be a little bit uh, directional. Uh, if so I will have to order, boost the audio but I do hope this sounds alright and looks alright. But there you go, just showing them off a little bit. Now they do take a little while to get used to, like I just said, but they are really nice when you do get used to them. I do want a full uh, suit to go with these now as well. And taking them off is quite easy as well. I mean, generally, if you haven't used them before, you would want to probably sit down and do it. But um, I've done it a few times now with uh, their hooves. I've been with their first suit before and whatnot. So it is quite easy. I can stand on one leg and do it now. <laughs> You simply just slip it off like any other shoe, really. It's quite simple, nice and easy and done. But, um, well, yeah, there you go, there are the hooves. Now, they are really com quite comfortable to walk in once you get used to walking in them with a balance and whatnot. Now, personally, if you got a chance to have these sort of hooves, Again, I'll leave their Twitter on the screen and in the um, description. But I would get yourself a pair if you can, because these are excellent quality. Really soft. Now, he is still only starting out, but he is quite good. Um, now, I'm not saying it just because I'm a friend, but because they generally are really good, quite, quali uh, quite good quality. And, um, yeah. So, I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, I know I haven't been here for a while, but again, hope you've enjoyed this. Hopefully I can start posting more content if you get used to it. Um, I want to do some collabs with some people, but with the nasty going around at the minute, it's a bit difficult to do that. I wanted to do some Halloween stuff, but um, can't really do that at the moment. But uh, hopefully we'll get to it at some point. 
So, again, thank you very much for watching. Do hope you have enjoyed. Go and check them out on Twitter and have a little chat with them. See if you get yourself a pair. Let me know if you do because uh, they really are deserving of the custom for these. They really are. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you again at some other time. I've been Mono and see you again. Bye-bye.